want to show you something unique. This is a live look at the view from the International Space Station. A Camus man is making his final trip to the new frontier. He's set to pilot a mission to the International Space Station in just a couple of days. Fox Wells Carly Olson got the chance to visit his alma mater today and speak with some old friends ahead of that launch. Carly. Real tomorrow night, Mike Barrett will be lifting off into space with SpaceX Crew 8 for a month long stay at the space station. But his original liftoff was here at the old Camus High School, where he since returned to share his experiences from the great beyond. Final liftoff of Discovery. Before the rockets, before the liftoff. Small town boy goes to NASA, really, is what it is. Mike Barrett was here on Earth walking the hallways of the old Camus High School. Since we went to school here as well. His old classmate, Gary Abrahamson, who now works as a system engineer for the school district, recalls that Barrett always seemed to want to learn as much as he could about anything he was excited about. We got together in Sea Scouts, which is kind of like the Explorer Division of Boy Scouts. He was always the one who wanted to be the in the pilot house during the boat. He wanted to be the one doing the navigational work and plotting courses and doing those kinds of things. After Barrett's graduation in 1977, he went on to complete a master's degree in aerospace medicine, and his first space mission was in 2009 with Expedition 1920. He visited again in 2011 when he was a mission specialist on the Space Shuttle Discovery's final mission. But no matter how far he flies, Barrett has always remembered those down below, even phoning some students from space at one point. He came back and did some presentations at our schools, talking about his trips into space. One of the most interesting things that I remember him talking about was the smell of space, which I never had thought about, but it's kind of a burnt metallic smell, almost like welding. Camus had a population of only a few thousand when Barrett went to school there. And Abrahamson says students today should realize that small beginnings don't equal a small future. He never stopped and never said, I'm not going to be able to do something. He just learned it. It shows that anybody, as long as they're, they want to learn something and have the desire to learn it, can get to where they want to go. I did speak with Barrett briefly on the phone today, but of course his schedule is pretty packed leading up to this launch, so he did not have time to go on camera with us. But if you do want to watch, watch that launch, you can visit the web version of this story at kptv.com to find links to the live feed. Reporting live in Camas, Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.